I teach a couple of online metaphysical courses, and one of which is to help you remove negative entity attachments from yourself. Despite this, I am really wary to jump to the conclusion that people have negative entity attachments as part of their suffering. I think it's really important to make absolutely sure that that is the actual cause of your suffering rather than just jumping to that conclusion. And the main reason is I want you to be able to step into your power and solve your problems and cure your suffering yourself without relying on a light worker or a healer to do that work for you. When you step into your own power, then there's no limit to what you can do. And I know that you are extremely powerful. You just have to believe it for yourself. So this video, yes, will be running through a list of potential symptoms of negative entity attachments. And you can test those out for yourself and see if they all add up. But we're also going to talk about two ways for you to know for absolute sure whether or not you have one. Also, in this video, I'll be performing a negative entity removal activation. Just in case you determine that you do have one, we can clear it out for you. Just like logging into a medical website and comparing your symptoms to the list of symptoms for the disease that you hope you don't actually have, comparing this list of negative entity attachment symptoms to your own may or may not result in an accurate diagnosis. You can find out from a light worker who is tuned into such things, like myself, and you can actually reach out to me on Facebook or even on here, and I will be able to tell you right away whether or not you have one. And the second option is to be able to find out for yourself, to tap into your inner master and know for sure whether or not you have a negative entity attachment. And I actually teach that in that class that I spoke of earlier. So you can join that and I'd be happy to teach you. But for now, let's run through the list of potential symptoms. <laughs> Number one, they come right out and tell you. I mean, this is the easiest one for sure. But if you listen, sometimes they'll just come right out and say, I am, in, I am possessing you, I don't want you to succeed, I want you to suffer, whatever sorts of messages that you receive, if it's, a, if it's a negative message, if it is, and it sounds like it's not coming from you, then there's a pretty good chance that that is a negative entity attachment that's speaking to you. There's a chance that it's also your it, which if you watch my video on depression symptoms right here, then you'll be able to see for sure whether or not that it's, it's your depression personified or if it's a negative entity attachment. Your behavior becomes erratic, negative, and outside of yourself or even outside of your control. If you ever have an extreme emotional response and it feels like it's happening for almost no reason and, and or you feel like that it isn't you, that you were just a passenger on this ride, then that could be an entity that's taking over for you. This is most likely to happen when you're a child, but it can still happen into adulthood. So it's still valid to think back to your childhood and see if you can remember any of those strange behaviors. It could have been, and therefore might still be, a negative entity attachment. Number three, extreme negative emotions for no apparent reason. As empaths, you may be picking up on someone else's emotional response to something, but if you can rule that out, then it's a potential symptom of an attachment. Maybe it's super easy to cry or to get angry or to feel more depressed. All of these could be a result of a negative entity attachment. Number four, chronic fatigue. If you feel really worn down, and even if you're getting enough sleep, you still feel exhausted there's a very good chance that there's a negative entity that's essentially sitting on your head and weighing you down. Number five, another potential is irrational fears. As an adult, being afraid of the dark, being afraid of the basement, having the willies, this could potentially be a negative entity attachment. I still think that you'd need to have a lot of the other items on this list be positive before you could definitively say, yeah, because I'm afraid of the dark, I must have a negative entity attachment. But it's another possibility. Number six, 
physical health conditions that make no sense. Nothing physical has occurred to cause a long-lasting issue, and maybe you've seen doctors and they have no idea might, what might be causing it. Number seven, strange skin sensations, feeling cold and clammy through the body, or uncomfortable vibrations deep within. Number eight, this is probably the creepiest one, feeling of being watched, feeling of being touched, feelings of even being raped. I've had at least one person come to me that said that during their sleep or while they're trying to go to sleep, they can feel like they're being sexually assaulted. Uh, this is pretty rare, but it's a pretty strong indicator for sure. And here's a list we'll kind of run through quickly. Sudden addictions, uh, relationship problems, anxiety and panic attacks, a like fogginess or a lack of clarity, suicidal thoughts, poor memory and concentration, anorexia and bulimia, and even severe allergies. These I feel are a little bit less likely because they're pretty common in many people, but if you are the type of personality that these things don't generally apply to and you suddenly start feeling this way, then there's a chance that you've recently added a negative entity attachment into your life without realizing it and they're causing you to have and, and conduct yourself with those sorts of behaviors. One that I want to touch on that people have credited to negative entity attachments is actually sleep paralysis. If you've ever had one of those situations where you wake up in the night and your body, you can't move your body, it's completely frozen, but you are physically awake you are aware and you feel like you should be able to get up out of bed. This almost never is caused by the negative entity attachment. However, in this situation, your negative entity attachment can become involved. But one of the things that you want to do when you find yourself in that situation is to recognize that this is a fear test. You are being tested because negative entities can't really do you any harm in this situation. All they can do is make you more and more afraid, which then invites more negative entities into your life. So if you can rest and relax and know that you are actually protected and you can even state in your brain, in your head, just say, I would like to be visited by beings of a very high vibration at this time. And if you can do this with a sense of calm, a sense of relaxation, and a recognition that this is a fear test and just a test, that they cannot actually harm you, then you are very likely to have a breakthrough in this sort of experience because you can move on knowing that they're not going to, to be able to really do anything to you in this situation, that in fact you can rest and relax and know that everything is going to be fine. At one point during my awakening, I actually had this experience happen to me. And I had been living with my girlfriend at the time and two dogs. And I'd woken up in the night because maybe I was feeling sick or she was feeling sick. I can't remember. But anyway, I went into the extra bedroom and decided to sleep on that bed. I closed the door because I didn't really want the dogs to be coming in and out of our rooms because they'd be going, hey, where did he go and where did she go? So I closed the door and I knew that there were no dogs that were going to enter this room. I fell asleep. I usually sleep on my stomach and I woke up at one point and I was in sleep paralysis. I couldn't move anything and I could only see off to the side because I was sleeping on my stomach so that I had a very limited view of the room. As I was laying there trying to regain my control of my body, I was still in a pretty relaxed state and I was kind of interested because I had heard so much about sleep paralysis and that it's an opportunity for you to actually speak to the spirit world. What ended up happening is I felt one of the dogs jump up on the bed. And that's when I realized, wait a minute, the door is closed. There is no way one of the dogs just jumped up on the bed. So what could it be? And immediately I could see in my mind's eye, I still couldn't see into the room very well because I had that limited view. But I knew that it was this little gremlin-like creature. And, and it walked across the bed jumped up on me because it was quite small 
and it opened up a panel in my back and it started taking out my insides and throwing them around the room, like laughing and giggling the whole time. I could have looked at that as some sort of horrible, terrible experience, but I instead looked at it as a joyful one. And I knew that they couldn't really do me any harm. I knew that I was safe. So I listened and I tried to communicate with it, but I was unable to. And finally it eventually went away. And soon I was able to regain control of my body. And I rolled over, of course the door was closed. There was no dog in the room. And I kind of sat up in bed relaxed, reflecting on what had happened. And I had a random thought come through my, my head. And it was, I want to explore the universe. And as soon as I had that thought, my whole body lit up with vibrations and, and pleasurable vibrations, uh, chills, wonderful chills. And I thought, oh, wow, that was cool. Uh, and I said it again silently to myself, I want to explore the universe. And I felt it again, and it felt so good. I just kept saying it over and over again. And so 20, 30, 40 times, I just kept saying, I want to explore the universe. And I continued to feel this unbelievable positive experience until finally it faded out. So if you approach your negative experience with expectations that all is going to go well and that the negative experience, the only thing that the spirit world can actually do to you is make you afraid. If you believe that in your heart and know it while those sorts of experiences are happening, then only positive and good things can happen. At this time, I'd like to go ahead and provide a negative entity attachment removal. This will be very similar uh, to the negative entity attachment removal from the other video uh, that I have, which you can watch right here. But why don't we just go ahead and do it anyway? So go ahead and close your eyes and take a nice big deep breath. And as you exhale, feel yourself relax in the chair that you're sitting in, in the bed that you're laying in. And this is a very quick and simple activation. All you're going to do is when I say the words breath in, you'll take a nice big deep breath, you'll hold it at the top, and you'll wait for me to say the word awaken. At that point, you can exhale. And what I'm doing is I'm moving you into a new timeline. I'm awakening you to a new timeline where the negative entities are no longer attached to you. Breath in. Awaken. Excellent. It's fun because I receive feedback as to how successful the activation was. And since this is a recording, I receive feedback based on how well it will go and almost how many people it will help. And the amount of feedback I received just there was pretty strong. So when you're ready to know deep down that these negative entities can't actually hurt you permanently. Yes, they can cause you temporary pains. They can cause you temporary fears. They can cause you temporary suffering. But in the end, you are a being of light. You are way more powerful than they are. And as you raise your vibration, they will become weaker and weaker. And you, as a strong being of light, will become more and more powerful. So when you're ready to accept all of this, then you can open your eyes. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped. And I hope that there's some things that you found in that list that you can apply to yourself. In addition to this, you can download an MP3 from my website that will activate the halo chakra or the soul star chakra. This is the chakra right above the crown and can offer additional protection against the return of negative entity attachments. Since we just removed them from you with that activation, 
This will give you a little bit more time so that you can work on yourself, you can raise your vibration, you can put yourself in a better experience and uh, surround yourself with high vibrational people. And there's so many more things that you can do. And you can watch my other videos on that to find out more ways that you can remove negative entity attachments from your life. So thanks again for watching this video. And you can watch these other videos. And please subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell icon so you can be notified of future updates. And I'll see you on the next one.